Texting can be a little bit weird. I mean, how do you know whether a guy's really into you or not? There's a lot of kind of misinformation out there about what a guy should be doing and what he shouldn't be doing over text message. And everybody wants to have like this exciting, explosive, great conversation over text. So how do you know if this guy's actually into you? Is he just not into texting? Like what's going on here? And so today I'm going to be talking about nine different signs that he's flirting with you over text message. And number nine is by far the most important one. So stay tuned for that. Hi, my name is Matthew Coast and welcome to Commitment Connection. Let's go over these nine signs right now. Okay, so sign number one is that he shares information that you didn't ask him for. And so why would a guy do this? Because he's trying to bond with you. He wants you to like him. He wants you to like him for who he is. And so he will share information about himself that you didn't ask for you and he's just sharing it right he's just trying to tell you about himself and he wants you to be impressed and he wants you to think that that he's a great guy and so he'll do that number two is he genuinely wants to know how you're doing so there's kind of this myth out there that Texting, text message conversation should be like this flashy thing, right? And, and, and it's important that it's not too boring, right? You don't want to bore a guy to death. But at the same time, it, it's like most conversations are just normal conversations. And it's not, it doesn't always have to be this dancing monkey laugh, ah, you know, thing going on all the time. Instead, there's a lot of just normal conversations that can happen. And if he's genuinely interested in you and what's going on with you and your life and who you are and, you know, what's going on with you on a daily or weekly basis, then it shows that he actually cares about you and he's interested in you and, and he wants to make sure that you're doing well. So sign number three is that he takes time to think out his answers. And so he's not just auto texting, auto responding, texting back to you or something like that. He's investing mentally and emotionally in his text messages and he thinks out the text message and then he sends it back to you. And that's actually a great way if he takes a little bit of time and it's it looks like a well thought out answer and it's just not a bunch of, you know, letters jumbled together or whatever, you can tell that that he's taken some time to really think about it and so he's messaging you back after he's taken some time to think about it. So sign number four is that he often starts a conversation with you. So he's initiating conversations with you. He's, and it's just, it's not just a check-in all the time, right? It's, it's actually trying to start a conversation and have a genuine conversation with you because he wants to talk to you. He wants to interact with you. He wants you to like him. And so he's trying to, you know, start a conversation and connect and be connected with you as much, as much as he possibly can without coming across as weird or a creep or something like that, right? So number five is that he finds reasons to say something positive about you. And, and this might look normal. It might look weird. It might look good. It doesn't matter. What he's trying to do is create positive associations for you around himself. And so guys like this will often give you a compliment or something or say something nice about you or your situation or try to make you feel better in some way because he wants you to associate good feelings with him. And so he'll try to create those good feelings through the conversation somehow often by complimenting you or saying something nice about you or about what's going on with you. Sign number six is that he tries to find out if you have a boyfriend or not. And if you don't know, he's doing that because he's trying to figure out whether he can be your next boyfriend or not. And so he, a lot of guys will uh, try to figure it out or sneakily figure it out or just straight up ask you whether you have a boyfriend or not just to find out whether you actually do and whether he's, whether he's got a chance, whether he's got a chance with you. 
Sign number seven is he remembers little details that you share with him. And so he might mention something about something that you guys did together or maybe something that you mentioned and you weren't really, it wasn't really a big deal or whatever, but he remembers it and he talks about it because he genuinely cares about you and he remembers things about you and he wants to know about you and, and he, he wants to connect with you in little ways that other people don't genuinely connect with you on and so he remembers those little details. So sign number eight is that he tries to tease you even if he sucks at it. And so let's just be honest. Everybody out there is texting these days. Everybody out there wants to text these days. And most people kind of suck at it. And so if he tries to tease you or flirt with you or do something, right, to, to make you feel better in a playful way, even if he's not really that good at it, he's doing it because he likes you and he wants to create kind of a playful and fun and engaging and uh, like nice environment between the two of you around texting. And so he might try to tease you in some way just because of that. And then sign number nine here is, in my opinion, the most important sign. And sign number nine is that he tries to meet up with you in person. And so some guys out there just, I mean, they're just horrible at text messaging and you've probably run into some of these guys. However, they're still really great people. They really, they might really care about you. They might really be a great conversationalist in person. They might be a genuinely good guy. However, he might just want to get to the meetup, right? And even if a guy's a really great texter, but he's not meeting up with you, then that should be cause for concern because the magic is in the meetup. The magic is meeting up together. You don't want a pen pal. You want to be in a real relationship with a real human being. And so in my opinion, the most important sign is that he's trying to actively meet up with you and hang out with you and spend time with you. And so if you're kind of confused about texting and you're not really sure what you should be doing around texting and you want him to start chasing you and feel really good about you and want to connect with you, my suggestion is that you go and check out my texting program. It's called Irresistible Text. You can go get yourself a copy of it. There's a button on the right hand side of this video. Just click on it and go download your copy of my Irresistible Texts right now.